Welcome or welcome back to Past Industrial Channel. We continue guiding you through the world of disruptive technologies. Today, we'll talk about machine learning and the tasks that it solves. Remember to subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest trends in the tech industry. Now let's get a refresher of the basics and go through the definition of machine learning. It's a subset of artificial intelligence that enables machines to learn from the received data using algorithms. To get a better understanding of the relation between machine learning, artificial intelligence and deep learning, check out our previous video here. Machine learning models are trained to detect patterns on a host of data samples. Basically, this means that the more examples a computer is shown, the more accurate result it will deliver. The tasks for machine learning projects can be grouped into two big categories. Those based either on classification or regression algorithms. The first one is pretty straightforward and enables computers to classify the received information. This group of algorithms teaches machines to predict or classify discrete values, such as safe or unsafe, spam or not spam, or detect species among thousands of existing ones. The tasks related to regression are used to predict such continuous values as price, age, salary, and so on. These tasks can be grouped into smaller subcategories and lean on either of the above-mentioned algorithms, like object detection, image classification, anomaly detection, ranking, and clustering. Now let's talk about examples. Training a computer algorithm to spot abusive content online is a classic example of a classification task. The computer receives a certain amount of labeled images of violence, nudity, or any other graphic images, and learns to spot patterns in them and eventually classify. Meanwhile, a task to predict a stock price at a given time, for example, falls into the category of tasks related to regression. Machine learning algorithms can be used across domains. In healthcare, for example, algorithms can be trained to classify X-ray, MRI scans, or any other medical images to detect potentially malignant lesions, tumors in human organs, and eventually help in early disease detection. Mr. Simpson, I'm afraid you have a crayon lodged in your brain. In retail, machine learning can help automate processes classifying products at large warehouses with scans, for instance. In car manufacturing, the technology helps automate the process of assembling spare parts or even an entire vehicle. Regardless of what type of task you deal with, you'll need to deliver a trained machine learning model to solve it. But a model alone is not enough. Why? And what's wrong with the common approach to managing machine learning projects? We'll discuss this in our next video. Stay tuned and see you soon.